This is Jaren.net, and today we'll be showing you how to dismantle the Western Digital Elements portable hard drive case to get out the SATA drive inside. Uh, you will want to make sure you have the one with the mini USB port. Uh, otherwise, if it's a micro USB, it means the, uh, the port is soldered to the hard drive main board, so you can't actually uh, use the drive outside of the case. However, if you do have the version with the mini USB, you can actually remove it and put it in your laptop uh, or many other uses. So basically, to start out, there's a bunch of clips holding on the uh, top part of the cover here. So start out by getting your screwdriver or plastic scribe if you have one. Kind of wedge it in there, pry it apart a bit, enough to where you can maybe get a credit card in there, like so. And start going down and using it to pry it up, like so. And go all the way around. Like so. Just be sure to use a card you don't really care about because it will probably get ripped up, as you can see. And just kind of kind of continue doing this all the way around. Once you've got it started going, you can just kind of use your hands to pry the rest of it off. Here we have the top case here. So now with the top off, there is a bunch of little rubber stoppers kind of holding it in place. Uh, they're not really screwed in or secure. So basically, by placing your screwdriver, or again, better if you have a plastic scribe in the back, not where the port is, and just kind of slightly prying it out, like so. Now that it's coming out a bit, pull it free. And here you can see inside of mine is a uh, Scorpio blue. You should be able to just kind of simply slide it out. Rude little stoppers here, if you want. Kind of slide out of the case. And all you need to do now is simply remove the little USB port here in the bottom, like so. And there you have the hard drive. And if you want now, if you have a larger drive you want to use or you want to reuse the case, just simply put everything back in reverse. Slide the hard drive back in the little main board here. Put the rubber stoppers back in. They kind of clip onto the uh, little holes inside there. Go into the screw holes once you put it back in the little cage here. Slide it back in the case. Pop the top back on, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching this how-to guide from jaren.net.